What's up you guys, this video is going to show you how to use the inventory loader and do like a flat file upload. Um, this is mainly going to be for Amazon drop shipping. Uh, that's the kind of example I'm going to be using here. Um, so normally what I would do for my store is go down here to the mini buy box, click on sell on Amazon, and then you enter all your information in there. Um, basically like the condition, the price, all that stuff. And then you go into something like SKU grid and you manually add in everything there and link it up so that it can monitor your price and stock but that just takes too long especially if you're going to be uploading a bunch of items it's fine if you're doing like one or two items but if you're doing like 10 or more it just doesn't make sense so i tried to find some information online how to bulk upload but i couldn't really find much there's a few tutorials out there but they're not for people who are drop shipping so i'll kind of show you what i've figured out um First thing you need to do is go into Seller Central and then you come over here to Inventory and then go to Add Products via Upload. Once you're in here, just scroll down to the bottom and you'll see Inventory Files. Expand the selection and click on Inventory Loader. And then you'll go ahead and download a uh, Excel sheet. So I use Google Sheets. You can use Excel or Google Sheets, doesn't matter. Um, but for Google Sheets, you just go File import and then upload that file that you just downloaded and what you'll get is something that looks like this um, it gives you instructions on how to use it but I was a little bit confused when I first tried to upload um, for some reason my items wouldn't upload correctly um, and because it's because I wasn't following the data definitions exactly so I'm gonna go through all of those and show you exactly what you need to do for that so Let's go through here and this is what the file looks like. This is the, the page that you're gonna need to fill out. It's like I said, it's best for you to have like all your ASINs ready. So if you have like fi like 10, 15, 20 ASINs, all you do is bring them over into here and then you're just gonna paste them into the product, product ID and fill out all the rest of this information and then it's gonna bulk upload it. So um, here's the SKU. You need to enter in whatever skew it is that you want for your product so I'm just gonna make one up right now there we go this is the product that we were going to be using so let's find the ASIN copy that paste it to the product ID next thing you're gonna do is select the product ID type and because we're using the ASIN number um, which I would su suggest you to use because unless you're doing like books then you can use the ISBN but ASIN is always going to be correct um, so that is one so you just put in one there and <clears throat> let's say we wanted to list this item for 59.33 so we'll put that in here 59.33 uh, I don't know if that will matter but let's change that just in case and then this is the minimum seller allowed price so for this it's just gonna be the minimum that the repricer will price it at I don't like to have a minimum or a maximum seller price so what I'll do here is just put delete and make sure that you don't put zero in these because if it's zero it'll go all the way down to zero which I guess is the same thing um, but it might not upload correctly so yeah like it says here just enter zero do not enter zero same thing here just enter delete uh, do not enter zero and then the next one is the item condition most of us are going to be drop shipping so all the items will be new so the new selection is going to be 11 so you just enter 11 here and then you're going to enter the quantity here I typically like to do 5 to 10 quantity so I'll put that in there and then we've got add and delete so you could also use this file to delete your products from your inventory as well as add them. Um, in this case, we're going to be adding. So we've got to put A to add. Okay. And then the next section we've got here is international shipping. Um, most people aren't going to be doing international shipping. So for that, we're going to put one. The next two are shipping, so do you offer expedited shipping? This is good if someone has, uh, if, if they drop ship from like 
Walmart um, because they have the fast shipping, usually like the two-day shipping on certain items. For our case, we'll just go ahead and put in for none. Same thing with standard plus. Uh, I usually just put in because in case my products get delivered past the five days, I won't get penalized for tracking being deli or the item being delivered late. So I'll usually choose in for this. And then this last part here is just notes on an item. So if you're selling something that's like open box and you say, the, oh, the box is like messed up, you can just type that into the item notes and then you'll be all good. But because we're selling new, I always just put new here. And then because you're going to have um, a bunch of different products here, and most of the time all this stuff is going to be the same unless you're selling items that are in a different condition or maybe you want to do a different quantity or something like that um, these are all going to be pretty much the same so I'll just copy <clears throat> paste that there and I'll select this and then I'll go down as far as however many uh, products I have same thing with this I just didn't select it I just scroll that down too alright so once we have that and then you're just basically going to enter in your ASINs here and then the price you want to list it at. The price is not really going to matter right now if you're using something like SKU Grid because SKU Grid is going to uh, reprice it anyway so you don't need to be specific here but just put a price that's kind of close to what you're going to list because once you upload this into Amazon if the price is way off they'll make the item inactive because the price is too much of a difference but once you have this filled out Oh yeah, real quick, another note on SKU. Uh, you can make this whatever you want, so I'll typically just go like that or something. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you could put in the item number from the supplier if you want or whatever. It doesn't doesn't really matter. This is up to you. Uh, it doesn't like match up with anything. This is your own identifier. So once you have it done, you go to File, Download as, Tab Separated Value Sheet. Uh, once you have that downloaded, you're going to go back into... Uh, add products via upload on your seller central account you're gonna scroll down here you'll see inventory loader file which it should be defaulted at if it's not just make sure you change it and then from there you're just gonna click on file upload and choose file and then upload and then once you're done with that give it it depends on how many items you do but I mean if you have like 10 to 50 items it's only gonna take uh, maybe like 15 minutes maximum so just check in and see what you have uh, uploaded there are gonna be some items where for example this one would be fine but uh, you might have experienced that when you click on sell on Amazon it asks you to request approval to be on that listing so if you were to have one of those listings on here in your sheet and you try to upload it you'll go into your uh, inventory and on the left hand side you're gonna see inactive um, and in that case you either need to request approval depending on I guess if you have invoices for that supplier but if not you can just delete it and move on from there and then after that um, this is not really a tutorial on SKU grid or anything but if you do use SKU Grid, uh, there's an easy function in there where you just go to import and then import by marketplace and then click on Amazon US if you're selling on Amazon US and it'll add in all the new products that you just added and it won't add any, in any duplicates. Uh, and then from there, it's pretty easy. All you got to do is go to edit, change the supplier URL and then you scroll down to the bottom and then change the selling formula for whatever price you want to set your product at. So if you guys have any questions on bulk, bulk uploading into Amazon, uh, let me know.